15th of July, Kulak riots, Dublin, carnage. The government plans to house up to 500 illegal immigrants in a disused factory here. The people's response? Should be ashamed of yourselves. Gas fucking park. Someone like me, I have a love and a loyalty to this country. I want it to join the guard. I had that motivation in me. I wanted to join the army. I had that motivation in me to protect and serve. No! The batterings will continue until the plantation is complete. We've already done it once before. The British Empire. 800 years we stood up against them in defiance. Forced plantation. Genocided from our own villages. Scattered to the four corners of the earth. What's going on, mate? Uh, well, Kulak says now is what's going on. There's, they're trying to build refugee centres for uh, illegal men who are coming into this country. Yeah. And we're not having it. Kulak says no, not a chance. And they're spraying little children, elderly women. It's a disgrace is what's happening here. That's what's happening at the moment. Yeah, straight as to this country is what they are. Where will I see your pictures? Yeah. Go down one of the You all right, boss? Can I ask you your, oh, your opinion? Hey, wait me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. English, whatever you're from. You're not welcome here in Ireland. F off. Ireland for the Irish. Right. Faz, you heard it there. Very tense situation, man. Oh, this is the real deal, man. It's a riot. And, um, and what's, what's like the cause of the riot? Uh, I don't know. The refugees are in the country and they want them all out. They want them all out. So yeah. where, where do they want to put them? Back to their own country. Back to their own yeah. country. So yourself as like an Irish citizen, are you willing to go to war for this country? I'm, I'm going to go over and get pepper spray myself in a minute. You know what I mean? You have to do it a bit, like How have you seen uh, Ireland change over the uh, recent years? It's unsafe to walk the streets. I had to, my daughter was working in town, and I had to stay on the phone to her till she got on the bus in town because of all gangs and migrants hanging around corners and all the streets in town. And I actually had to wait till she got on the bus to so make sure she was safe. That's two years ago, and it's it's got a lot worse since then. Right, okay. It's a lot worse in every area now. Does people going around trying to grab kids? Does just everyone's in fear? Yeah. of their kids' lives, their grandchildren's lives, and that's that's what's happening. And this is a culmination of it today, with people protesting, and then the guards get heavy-handed, pepper spray, pushing people, and they get out of hand. Yeah, you know? I, I actually got hit with the with the riot shield, and I'm just taking pictures. There you go. <laughs> it's just it's, it's not it's not right what's happening. I mean, if the, we we. we we delighted to help people in from war torn countries. Yeah. But these are these don't seem to be men, women and children. They're single men that have no documentation. We don't know if they're illegal immigrants, we don't know if they they're criminals. We don't know. And our government isn't telling us. There's lack of communication there. If we knew more about them and knew why they wanted to stay here and come here, then we mightn't be protesting. And the Irish people have always had truth on their side. Yeah, because as Pierce said, God fights with small battalions. That's a true patriot, man. That's a true patriot. Can't show all of the footage on YouTube, but the full uncensored version will be out on my Patreon for as little as one pound. That's a true patriot, man. That's a true patriot. <laughs> What the f is going on, man? Pe people are actually f***ing throwing fireworks and shit, man. Okay, no. say and obviously I mean 
it's just ignorance on some people's behalf but like filming this video as a brown person i think this is the most dangerous stupid thing i've ever done just for the fact of i can see pure hatred in people's eyes looking at me and i'm from england and i had no choice in being born there so hardly an illegal immigrant but you just see color and you you don't see uh you don't see the story behind the color you're all right boss i'm making a little story today can i see your opinion about what's going on i don't live i'm just living here so i say nothing i don't know and i i i think it's the government's made a mistake and thinking they could put it in five, it's a 500 people? 5,000. 5,000? 5,000, yeah. Oh, rich. And they're all men. Yeah. Dirty men. Oh, Absolutely man. crazy. Crazy. So, like yourself, uh, would you class yourself as like patriotic for this country? Oh, yeah, but <laughs> I, I kind of have a. It's divided, it's our opinion about the, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Maybe they're right, but it, 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 there's, no, there's no way. The government is pretty, pretty bad of the governments, the way they decided to do. Um, it's, 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 I haven't said, we're taking 50,000 and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And nobody else has that. Yeah. I mean, they're letting people in without, without passports or anything. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So, so, like, do you think it's an impending civil war here? Oh God, well, it, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. No. Okay. Thanks for your, thanks for your time, mate. I'm gonna go off down okay. there, mate. Take care. Thank you. What was your name, boss? Tom. So Tom's telling me here that the situation that's kicked off today is there's 2,000 migrants living in. It's quite a small area, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not 2,000 migrants, but there's the potential to be that many. T potential to be 2,000. There's two hotels where there's quite a lot, and then the capacity of that is between 1,000 to 1,200 in the ex uh, Crown Paints factory. Now the authorities are saying we're only going to move in 500, but they're yeah. building infrastructure that can hold a lot more. So, so people are saying we, we don't know what's going on. So, the, so they're right. building the infrastructure there for 2,000 migrants to move into this area, and obviously the the locals are uh, not just going to sit by and, and watch it happen. So I don't blame them. You know, I don't I don't blame you guys being out here. Yeah, it's it's people are like it's 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 the unknown of it. They're, it's not. It's who are these people? What yeah. are they going to do? You know. You see, so people with left with nothing to do yeah. in an area where that's where there's already a lack of facilities and services. It's one of the most uh, like underprivileged areas in Dublin, right. and this is where they're sticking all the people. They don't stick them in the nice areas. They stick them in places like this where there's no funding at all, where people are on their knees, and then they're sticking these people in. It's just going to cause hate. And we're not a racist country, but it is going to be, it's going to cause racism. It's, yeah, man. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to cause a, a big divide. Because they don't want people looking at the government. <laughs> they want people, once you're looking at anyone else instead of the government, they don't care who it is. They don't care if it's someone on the north side of Dublin or versus the south side of Dublin, or Irish people versus uh, immigrants. Once the eye isn't on the government, that's all they care about. Yeah, man. It's a dividing rule. It's been happening since Roman times, since, since Mesopotamian times. It's been going on the whole time, and it's the same thing unraveling again. How, how do you think the situation today is uh, unfolded in the way it has? No comment, please. I, I don't want to be video. Thank you. But like, if you could improve the situation in Ireland, what would you do, boss? I can't improve the situation as one man. I can't do anything about that. I can't offer comment on that. All I'm here is to do my job and do what I'm told to do, unfortunately. I can't offer any comment. And are you, are you patriotic? As the clash in Kulak continues, it's clear people here feel migrants are put before their own community. To understand these frustrations, I spoke with Gary, who's been on and off the streets for a number of years. Here's what he had to say about the situation. What What do you think about the situation, about people coming here from like Algeria, uh, Afgan they Afghanistan? Be they shouldn't be here. Look, I'm not being bad and saying that they shouldn't be here. I just as Ireland needs to start looking after their own. Their own, do you know what I mean? Like start housing us, us, not everyone else, right? I'm in bad luck. I'm on that housing this year, years, but people are getting prioritised before us. 
and warm. How do you feel about that, Stevie? How do I feel about it? How do I feel about it? Yeah, really? Listen, you don't want me to say how I feel no, about it. And I swear to God. So, so Gary, what, what do you what do you think about the the migrant situation in Dublin? The migrant situation in Dublin is a f***ing joke. It's a joke. They're walking through the borders, a tent everywhere. Like, how can you give migrants a tent? to live in a tent. What, 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 what European country in the EU, the Geneva Convention, anything like that, gives people a tent to live in, in a cold city? Yeah. Right? So, so you think they should get housed? No, 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 right. no, 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 Hey, you know, your mum Rishi, he was out to being moved out of being Prime Minister of England, yeah. But half the people in this f***ing country, yeah, they got moved from England to here. And do you know why we allow them here? Because our government are full of shit and they're f***ing pussies. That's what they are. Is they're a bunch of f***ing Is that because that the Rwanda thing? No. Yeah. Because yeah. they were getting... Yeah, they're yes. a bunch yes. of f***ing albums. Yes. They don't. Yes, they will no. not stick yes. up. Right, and it's the Rwanda thing, and it is because you know what's happening. England are sending them to like all the immigrants, to, uh, all, all the illegal immigrants to Rwanda. That is right, right, it, right. And let immigrants into Ireland. I don't go look not against that. Them day people have been through horrific things, like yeah. horrific, horrific yeah, yeah, things horrific. in yeah. their countries. Yeah, yeah, but hard. make it legal, not illegal. Don't let them just run to our borders. Cause our borders, like if you get to Northern Ireland from England, you can just walk to a border, and then you get a tent, and you're an asylum seeker, and then that's it. Yeah, and then there's thousands of them now in this country that are ahead of thousands of never mind people like us. Young flits like us, there's families, there's I'm pregnant girls. No, 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 just listen. There's, families, yes, there's no. pregnant women yeah. and and uh, like families and not like and proper families, even if they're from probably Greece or in Algeria, but they're here 20 years or whatever, and they're doing homeless. I live here 23 years. I had hap like I had houses, I had everything. I, my landlord sold his oh, house, I and I became homeless. Alright bro. A good cook, good cook there if anyone's looking. Huh? Good cook. If anyone's looking. Yeah? No. Where are you from bro? What? Where are you from? Ireland. Where, Where are you from? from? Oh, I'm from Ireland. <laughs> you mad bastard. <laughs> You're not from Ireland. Oh, I am from Ireland bro, I swear to God I am. You sound like you actually sound a bit Irish for half Irish. Oh uh, yeah, half Irish. You look for cook? No, no, I'm alright bro. No worries bad. Don't throw the finger at people. Why? You threw the finger at you, yeah? <laughs> no, like, say, bro, you know, I'm back off. I would have shook his hand and said, you'd say goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any change? Any change, please? Any change? Honestly, I have absolutely none. Absolutely none. Like, right, we're doing a doco, right? And I'm from Dublin, yeah? And how bad is it? Tell him how bad it is. Tell this man how bad it is. I can't look at that thing I have. I got. I know. Bad enough to lay in the money taken out. You know what I love, eh? Oh, look, why on the crack, the gear, the heroin? No, I'm on the methadone. The methadone? Yeah, I'm on the tablets. So, are you okay? What's your name? I'm Tamar. What's your name? I'm Tamar. What? Your name's not a Tamar. No, my name's Sabrina, sorry. <laughs> so, your name's not a Tamar. No, sorry. How <laughs> no, are your name's a Tamar? I'm right. starving, man. Even if I got business, I swear. Uh, you get it somewhere. You know, I promise you, you get it somewhere. Hello, lovely. My name's Gary M. I promise you. Life will walk out one day. I promise you. Hey? Are you going to go home? Yeah. Hey? No one's given nothing. I promise you, if I can get some, I'm homeless too. I live out of this bike. I'm homeless too. I'm, I live in a shed. I'm homeless too. Mm. No, I'm okay. Do you want a crisp? I'm okay. So, I'll even take one of them. That's yeah. how nice of a woman we are. I'm homeless too, yeah? Right? Seriously, right? But, I'm just saying, put your head up, okay? And the roof's going down, don't be sad, okay? Because things will happen. Good things will happen, yeah? Okay. Thank you. No, I'm tapping here, please. Yes, I'm here. I'm here tapping. 
Yeah. Someone put on cameras, no way of meeting that clip. <laughs> Gary's frustrations are shared by many who feel overlooked. But what about the migrants themselves? To understand the other side of this complex issue, I spoke with two migrants about their experiences and struggles to stay in Ireland. So, what was like the original reason that you wanted to come to Ireland, mate? Because of I was uh, the LGBTQ. I was thinking when I come to Ireland, I will be safe and have a better place to stay and uh, uh, do my things. Because I know my country, uh, they hate LGBTQ, and uh, even your families hate you because if you do that. So I came to Ireland because I was thinking when I come here, I'm safe for when I, as a LGBT guy like me, as a gay guy, I'll be safe here. That's why I came. So, so like in, in your own country, like you, you could, you're at risk of being like killed or attacked because you're, you're gay? Yeah, well you're going to be attacked and when you're walking to the town, you cannot even, you don't have a peace of mind everywhere you go. Finger is pointing at you and uh, the youth in the communities who they are homophobia, they can attack you any times. And even people are not going to allow their family to come too close to you. We are not talking with some, even when you see a guy talking with you, hey, he's going to fuck your ass. When you say this, that's what they're going to say. He's a gay, he's a gay guy, they are going to. And even as they told me, they said they are going to put a stick on my, on my ass. That's what they told me. So what, what's, your, what's your plan now that you're in Ireland? My plan is that I was thinking they are going to process me and give me a place to stay and then Ireland will turn to my home to stay now because as a gay guy, uh, I know that Ireland accepted a uh, gay when you are a gay guy you are free to walk and do everything you like here so as I moved to Ireland, I, know I, don't, I don't have any money with me, nothing, I came with no money and uh, I went to the international uh, home office to help me to able. I was thinking they're going to help me with a uh, place to stay. They give me, they register me, they give me a brew ID by actually, they leave me on the streets and I don't have nowhere to go. I was carrying my luggage, walking around, and uh, I don't know what to do now. I sell all my things before coming here. The money I got from inside, that's what I use to pay to be able to board, to come to here. So I try, I don't have nothing again. I don't have nothing with me. Yeah. And you cannot go to somebody in front of somebody gate and sleep. I am feeling cold, Ireland is freeze. And where can you stay? I think uh, for me, I think I want to give a message to the African, my African brothers. It's like uh, when we come here, what we expect, we expect the land of honey. It's not like that. So when you come to Europe, you're seeking Islam whatsoever. It's not what you think, or it's not what we think, like we are expected here, yeah, these people want us. It's not like that. They don't want us, uh, not in a bad way. In a good way, because uh, I've been around with Dante, I've been meeting local people. That's when I started to understand it, how this thing is, how they feel. For example, we're at the park. Uh, we saw a park, a fountain with dirty water, no fish in it. It's supposed to be a nice fountain with fish. So they feel like the service delivery is not being delivered the way they expect it to be. Uh, the way they expect it to be, but someone is coming and seeking Aslam and getting the money, yet the local people are not getting anything. Uh, you see those kind of things, uh, that's what you have to expect. It's not easy and you come here, they don't give accommodation, you will be in the streets. If you ask Dante, we've been like struggling to find a place to sleep. Some places for you to do anything, the banks whatsoever, it needs your ID and they take you all that. You won't be having anything. You can't open an account, you can't do what. They give you tents to sleep. So, you know, I'm saying this to my African brothers because I know people who are coming to this side are not poor people in Africa. Uh, it's people who are financially stable in Africa because if you calculate the price, don't tell of the plane from Africa to here, it's actually expensive, so it's not poor people who are coming to Africa. It's like financially stable people who are coming this side, but expecting something else, which is not there. 
That's my message to my African brothers. It's not like that. It's not the land of honey you expect. You be given a tent. Imagine where you are now in Africa. You stay in your house, you're eating what you're eating, and then you come the side with your suitcase. They tell you you have to sleep in a tent. Imagine that, sleeping in a tent. It's not it, it's not it. Because, yeah, it's land of honey to them because their grandfathers prepared this land for them, for their grand-grandchildren to enjoy, not us to enjoy. So let's not take our problems and make it their problems. Days after the riot and the Crown's paint factory has been set on fire twice, Dean and Mo are still looking for accommodation and I personally don't know how the situation in Ireland will resolve but my heart certainly goes out to those affected 